Current estimates suggest that several hundred proteins undergo this modification. This process, also known as acetylation, involves the reversible attachment of palmitate and other fatty acids onto cysteine residues in specific proteins. Palmitylation dynamics are mediated by the opposing actions of palmitel transferase enzymes and thioesterase. Palmitylation can affect modified proteins in a variety of different ways. Some proteins, including RAS, G-alpha subunits, and SARC family kinases, depend upon palmitylation for stable membrane attachment. Another important function of palmitylation is to regulate the intracellular trafficking of proteins or to control the association of proteins with cholesterol-rich microdomains such as lipid rafts or cavioli. These latter two effects of palmitylation apply to both soluble proteins and transmembrane proteins. The snare protein SNAP25 is known to play an essential function in secretory vesicle exocytosis, regulating the secretion of key biological molecules such as hormones, neurotransmitters and peptides. SNAP25 is synthesized as a soluble protein and requires the palmitylation of a central cysteine-rich domain containing four cysteines to become stably membrane-associated. However, the palmitylation of multiple cysteines in SNAP25 and our observations that the palmitylation of this protein is dynamic, shown in this slide through the use of click chemistry with palmitic acid azide, suggests that palmitylation may exert additional regulatory effects on this protein. Indeed, a series of experiments performed in our lab has shown that palmitylation of SNAP25 controls this protein by several mechanisms, which will be summarized on the following slide. Palmitylation targets SNAP25 to a dynamic cycling pathway that shuttles the protein between the plasma membrane and endosomes. Entry of SNAP25 into this cycling pathway is essential to allow the protein to function in membrane fusion pathways at both of these compartments. Furthermore, the flux of SNAP25 through this pathway is controlled by the level of SNAP25 palmitylation. Decreasing the number of palmitylation sites leads to an accumulation of SNAP25 on endosomes, as shown in the top left figure of this slide. This change in SNAP25 distribution is predicted to lead to a decreased capacity for exocytosis, but an increased capacity for endosomal fusion. On the other hand, increasing SNAP25 palmitylation leads to enhanced plasma membrane association, and a resulting increased capacity for exocytosis. However, other work from our lab has suggested that increased palmitylation may also inhibit SNAP25 function in exocytosis, as this increased palmitylation leads to a movement of SNAP25 into cholesterol-rich lipid draft domains, which downregulate the exocytotic activity of SNAP25. This point is highlighted in the top left figure, showing that a hyper Palmitylated mutant of SNAP25, F84C, supports less exocytosis than the wild type protein. So, overall, palmitylation thus serves as a dynamic and flexible modification that regulates membrane binding, cycling of SNAP25 between plasma membrane and endosomes, and the precise microlocalization of the protein, all of which are predicted to provide novel mechanisms to control SNAP25 function.